Well, my journey into network marketing all began when I lost my job uh, in the airline industry. Uh, it was a very serious moment for me and I started looking for other jobs and somebody spoke to me about network marketing. Well, uh, some years passed, I happened to go to the U.S. and I saw on a program in the U.S. where someone invited me to come and have a look. And what I saw blew my mind. Well, when I came back to Ghana, there wasn't anything like that. So when a friend told me about network marketing, I said, wow, that must be what I saw in the U.S. And it made me rethink and uh, decided to be a part of it. And uh, uh, my why, my big why I'm in the industry is basically because I lost my job. I'm a, I know myself, I'm a very hardworking person. Uh, but all of a sudden, I just lost the job. And I know that if I have my own business that I'm running, there's no way I will collapse like that. So I decided to be on my own to start building my own business. And uh, I think I did well by taking such a decision. As to the number of people, how people get into my business is another thing altogether. Some way, somehow, uh, if you are determined to do something, you really do it. Okay, whoever wants to do something will find every means to do it. Once I decided to do network marketing, I found a way to really um, uh, start it and I began to win as many people as I can to, to follow me and that is how it began and I kept building uh, on the building on myself studying reading and getting to know what it is to be in network marketing and today it has paid off and I'm, I'm really excited that I found myself in the industry of network marketing the biggest challenge is you have seen a vision, you are driving the vision, but people you are bringing on board are not seeing what you are saying. What you are saying. Honestly, I, it, it came to a point and I used to tell my people that if you see what I see, you will be as excited as I am. And that's been um, a slogan that I had and I kept pushing. So eventually I was able to overcome uh, such challenges. It's, it's very frustrating, you bring a lot of people into the business, they started very well along the way, they just fall out, okay, and you need to really gather yourself and to move on, but this thing has really shown me that I have to be patient with people, uh, they, their time will come, and today, um, I am where I am today because uh, I understood that we are all different, uh, we all have different tempo, and uh, uh, um, I was able to overcome those challenges that I face with people. Uh, some people will start with you, I mean, but eventually they will understand what it is to build their networks. Today, I'm happy to be uh, in this business because people eventually get to understand what it is to be a network marketer. Uh, my business in Emery today, my ultimate goal is to get to the Diamond uh, Ambassador level. And when I look at myself, uh, by the grace of God, I have moved to the director level today. And uh, how God helped me to be here, I believe that the same way, the same God will help me to get to the diamond uh, uh, level. I think I have about, uh, I'm moving to one star, to two star, to three star, to the sapphire, emerald, and finally to the bigger gold, diamond ambassador. It's a place that I, we, I really want to be. And I've given myself the next uh, 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 three years to be there. God be my help. The piece of advice I can give anybody who is in, in Mary uh, is to let people understand that in every business, we need to be envisioned and see the vision of the company uh, in Mary and where this is taking us to. But if you don't see where this company is taking us to, there's no way you would like to do this business because challenges will come. As for challenges uh, will come, 
uh, there are so many distractions that will hit you here and there okay and if you're not careful you follow those uh, challenges you may get out of business if you are not careful you look at the distractions you get out of business and my simple advice I'll give to all the Emerians is for them to see the opportunity we have at our disposal especially the product line uh, the business plan and uh, uh, and uh, uh, everything we have in Emery is geared towards the fact that Emery has come to stay. Just like the name Emer, meaning built to last, it has come to stay. So we need to focus on the business and build this business to where we're supposed to get to. Uh, do, uh, I mean, forget about all the distractions and just keep the focus. I believe that you will get out of the trouble you may be going through and uh, you will face it and be able to get to your destination. The mo most memorable day for me, actually there are two scenarios uh, that, has, uh, uh, that I can remember any time. The first one was when Emery uh, was taking us to um, Aqua Safari. And that day was the day I became an elite manager. And um, when we got to the ground uh, at the resort at Aqua Safari, but I was really pondered. I could remember that very well. Uh, there, was, there was joy in the atmosphere, and everybody was excited for me. In fact, myself and my wife we were, we were together, and uh, it was a huge memorable day for me. You know, most of the time, when you travel with your spouse to functions like that, you feel so good to be, uh, to be associated with a company like in Mary. So I traveled with my wife. We went to the training together at Aqua Safari. The whole, the whole period that we were there for the training, you know, I was the. It was my best time ever uh, to be part of in Mary. That was one. The number two, a memorable day for me was when I I turned uh, director, and uh, during the car, the time that the the car was awarded was another beautiful day for me uh, in Emery. And uh, I will always remember those days. And we are looking forward to seeing more bigger, memorable days, especially when I will get to the higher levels like the diamonds. Defining success in my own way, especially where I am coming from, how I have gone through this network marketing, uh, and to where I am today, I will uh, define success in uh, five English words. Number one uh, is the fact that you must have vision. Uh, have vision that must drive you. Uh, then you must be patient enough. Have the vision, be patient and drive the vision. Uh, be consistent, do it every day. Do it every day. Do that same thing every day and be persistent. Persistent here simply means that you don't give up on people. There are many people who will uh, join you, but they will drag their feet a little bit. And if you are not persistent, there's no way you can get them. And uh, the, four, the fifth one is to, to focus on the goal you have set for yourself. So these five English words put together will make me define success. Nobody can be successful if you are not consistent, you are not persistent, and you don't focus on your goal. There's no way you will be successful. To have vision, be patient enough, be, be consistent, persistent, and focus on the goal. You will surely get to your destination. In Mary United, go to Diamond.